Oh, hey guys. I was just reading about how this historical figure didn't do anything wrong. Uh, anyway, uh, just wanted to share with you a quick thing about lay reports and any time you see somebody writing really, really long guides or stories about how they approached and seduced a woman. So here, here's the thing that's a w kind of a weird paradox. Um, is for me personally, I used to be big on the on the uh, internet forums. I used to be uh, you know reading everything I could, uh, all the theory and all the techniques and all the routines and all this stuff, because I was in a place which maybe you are at the moment, where I was really confused about everything to do with like how to approach a woman, like where to do it, should I go to nightclubs, should I uh, go out during the day, uh, should I you know, use social circle or whatever, uh, all the way to like how exactly do I express my interest, uh, do I invite her out on a date, you know a lot of people said don't go on dates, they're bad, or don't go to the dance floor, then you know you'll, it'll be ruined, and so what happens is, is you, re you know you're reading all the stuff, and then going out and trying to implement it and just constantly kind of confused about what the what the right approach is. And because of that, you don't know what is important and what's irrelevant. You don't know the stuff that you're doing that's actually making a difference and the stuff that you're doing that, that you know, wouldn't matter either way. It's fine if you know, do it if you want, uh, but it doesn't matter. So what you tend to do, what you tend to see is like, the newer the guy, um, and we see this a lot because you know me and Sasha and Mike and everybody, we get emails from guys asking questions. The newer the guy, the 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 less the experience they are. The longer the email is, with all the like all these paragraphs of all the stuff, because they think they need to provide all this context, and they need to go through like line by line, like I said this and she said that and I said this and then she said that in order for us to understand like what they're doing wrong or what they could do better. And uh, the more sort of advanced you get, the shorter the, the, you know, the simpler and the shorter the question becomes uh, pretty much. So um, it was crazy because I, I was one of those guys, like you might be uh, at this stage, where I was like going on all these forums and being like, yeah, I went out and I approached like three sets and then like I opened with this and then they said that, and then I tried to do this thing, and then I moved them around, and I isolated, and all this stuff, and trying to get all this feedback to figure out like what what specific bit of whatever I did, like could I have done better, or, or whatever it was. And literally, as soon as I took my training, back in uh, 2010 now, seven years ago, fucking hell, um, I, st I immediately stopped doing that. Like, I didn't need any more theory, I didn't need to write down all my interactions. And in fact, I stopped being able to really write um, like a lay report or write a whole long thing about what I did because I wouldn't remember what it was that I did. I wouldn't um, have in my con like my conscious awareness, like here's all the stuff I said and here's what she did. Um, and so when I see guys posting in some other, you know, other groups, other forums, things like that. Um, it's, it's either one of two things, right? So there, there might be a guy that's new who's writing this long last thing so that he can get feedback about what he's, you know, what he's doing. And if that's the case, then I guess it's fine. But I mean, that is, that's only really going to help him as kind of like a diary or journal of like, you know, the fact that he went out, he tried a bunch of stuff or whatever it is. Um, but the, you know, the, 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 usually the answer for that guy, like the thing that will help him is to stop overanalyzing in the moment and before the moment, all these steps and all these things and focus on just setting himself up to be as present in the moment with the girl as he can be. And so kind of all of that writing is, is, is superfluous. 
if it's a guy who's telling you that he has the answers and is going to help you get better, he's like a, presenting himself as a coach or an authority, and he's writing these long things about like I did this and I then I got I went up to the ten set and then I did my this you know super unbreakable opener and then I locked in with the, you know two of them and blah blah blah. If they're able to to write down all this stuff about everything that they did, then to me, that's either one of two things. Number one, either they're lying and they are just like, they, they went out, they had, you know, they had some experiences, um, you know, they, they managed to pull a girl from a nightclub or they slept with a girl or whatever, wow. And then they kind of backwards rationalized all this stuff and put in all of this extra detail that may or may not have happened or like massively exaggerated it and made it seem like stuff that just kind of happened they like, uh, they like made it happen because of all the techniques that they used when actually like it would have happened anyway or it was nothing to do with what they were doing. Um, so either they're kind of like making them seem like they are this Machiavellian person who's like pulling all the strings and in total control of the situation, which just isn't true, like it never is. Or, um, that's like the best case, or they are one of those people that's still actually at that level who needs to, like, who doesn't really know what's relevant and what isn't, and so is putting all of this detail down because actually um, they're one of those guys that's still struggling in this area and they don't really know what's important and what isn't and what's irrelevant and what's relevant. So they're just put, you know, putting this long stream of stuff in, um, in which case they really shouldn't be presenting themselves as an, as an authority or someone who can coach people or help people in this area. Um, so it's this, it's kind of this weird... Uh, paradox where the people, the people who are, um, in my opinion, anyway, this is all my opinion, but the people who are best placed to potentially write a lay report that, or whatever, some kind of report of their adventures that would help people are the very people who, if they were that good, wouldn't actually be able to write it. Because here's the thing, uh, I stopped writing them, not because of any like moral thing of like, oh, I shouldn't write this stuff or whatever it is, but because I realized like all of mine were the same and were really like were really boring and wouldn't be that useful to learn from because all my reports were uh, I, I saw a girl walking past and in that split like immediately in that split second I just immediately started running over I didn't have anything planned um, I opened with something I don't know what it is but probably something to do with the fact that I liked how she looked in some way um, and then uh, I was I was just there we were in that moment, we talked for about five minutes. I don't really remember what we talked about, um, but I remember, uh, you know, the stuff that I wrote down is like, these are some stuff that I found out about her. So she's this, she's actually this. That made me curious and interested in seeing her again. So we exchanged numbers, uh, texted back and forth a few times, um, and then set up a date. And on the date, uh, you know, she showed up at, you know, whatever, on time or a bit late. And we had a fun time. We talked about a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I found out more about her, her past, what she's into, what her passions are, um, are. and uh, you know, then we went back to my place and um, you know, slept together, and yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that would be every single one. So, um, because he, the, the thing is, is, is um, to me, like the stru like the structure and like like best practices and things you should do, is fundamentally just trying to set you up so that you are in a position where you can just be present with this girl one on one and get to know her and connect with her and find out about her and like express yourself and your own sense of humor and, and stuff like that and see if you guys connect on that or not. So you can't really like there's techniques and principles and things like that and mindsets to do with like setting yourself up best to make that possible. But once you're there and you're in the moment, it's about being in the moment with the girl and expressing yourself and listening to her and all of that rather than trying to control the outcome of this situation. And when I see all these lists of the, I did this and I said that so that she'd think this and then she said that so she think, I just go, did you? And if you did, you know you don't need to spend so much time trying to control the situation and overanalyzing it. Um, and, you know, in all, with all that effort that you spent 
like trying to get her to think something or like respond in this way by like saying this and and you know with this tonality or whatever you could have just get, gotten completely out of your head and just been really there and really focused on her and just really present with her and that would have had a way more of like a way bigger emotional effect on her than trying to do all this weird shit <laughs> um to be honest so that's what yeah so if you see stuff like written down like posts in in, in like forums or groups like this one by people who are like saying oh i'm you know, I'm amazing at this and I'll, I'll, I'll teach you all this stuff. Just be aware of, of what I said, you know. You don't have to agree with me and please, you know, comment below if you, if you disagree and you're like, oh no, actually, this really long post really helped me or whatever it is, um, then, I'm, you know, I'm more than happy to, to uh, discuss it with you. But in, in my experience, fundamentally, um, the tools and techniques, like when it's useful, is about mindsets and principles that's just going to get you more interactions and set you up so that you have um, more one-on-one uh, -on -one interactions with women that you find attractive and that are interested in you that are framed in the right way so you have the best chance of just being able to connect with her. That's what it's about. Everything else um, to me is just overanalyzing details that probably aren't important or trying to control what other people think or control what other people's actions are going to be which after a while it's like you have to realize that you can't do that as much as you think you'd like to and you don't need to in order to be successful so i hope that's useful and please comment below let me know your thoughts and i'll see you in the next one